Thomas Brown is a man in demand. He has interviews scheduled with the Commanders, the Chargers, and even the Texans to be their head coach. Now, this is one of my favorite offensive coordinator candidates, and I'm going to tell you all about him and why I like him so much after you hopefully like and subscribe to the video. Deal? Deal. Okay, so first of all, what you got to know about Thomas Brown is he is a dog literal dog he was a running back at georgia and finished his career as the fifth leading rusher with 2646 yards and scored 25 touchdowns in his career he was then drafted in the sixth round of the 2008 nfl draft by the falcons and then spent the 2009 season on the browns before retiring to pursue a career in coaching now he started his coaching career at georgia again as the assistant strength and conditioning coach in 2011 and then he quickly moved to ut chattanooga in 2012 as the running backs coach and then became the running backs coach at Marshall in 2013 and in 2014 he was the running backs coach in Wisconsin with former Charger and Wisconsin legend Melvin Gordon I know a lot of you guys hate just hearing that name but Melvin posted the second best season by a running back and then with Corey Clement they both ran for 3,536 yards as a team on the year which broke the single season record in college football history so to me that shows it's not just one guy like Melvin Gordon having a great year, one of the best running backs in college football. Uh, it, it's a team effort. It's a coaching difference. Thomas Brown had a lot to do with that, broke the single season rushing record as a team. The offensive line is involved. You have two running backs involved. You have the receivers and tight ends blocking. Thomas Brown had a lot to say in that. Then in 2015, he goes back to Georgia. I told you this guy is a dog through and through. He coached Sony Michelle and Georgia had a great rushing attack that year with 2,513 yards, including 194.3 yards per game. After that, he became the Miami offensive coordinator and running backs coach in 2016 and he stayed there until 2018 he coached Travis Homer there and then also in 2018 the Hurricanes rushed for 2,489 yards with an average of 5.2 yards per carry. A lot of accomplishments for Thomas Brown. He then spent one year as the South Carolina running backs coach before joining the Rams staff in 2020, also as a running backs coach. And Thomas Brown is praised for his leadership. And I think that shows in how he has been able to deal with Cam Akers. Cam has had a lot of issues with Sean McVay and it seemed like he was in the doghouse. Even at one point, he was almost cut from the team this past season. But if you have a guy like Thomas Brown, who has the experience as a running back and as a running backs coach, he can get the best out of his players. I mean, the Rams were the 10th best rushing attack in his first year with them, which was a huge improvement from the year prior. In 2021, he was promoted to be the assistant head coach as well as the running backs coach. And then in 2022, he became the assistant head coach and tight ends coach. And that's where we are at right now. So first of all, this guy is in high demand. Like I said, he's got an interview to be the head coach for the Texans as well as the offensive coordinator for the commanders. And he's only 36 years old and he's been coaching for 12 years. This is a guy who knew exactly what he wanted to do. He retired from the NFL because he wanted to pursue a career in coaching. He's gotten this far and he's so young on the Sean McVay staff. So you got that Sean McVay coaching tree right there, which is a scheme and a philosophy fit. And then on top of that, this is a guy who has been praised for his leadership skills by players as well as coaches. There is a lot to like here and especially a lot that Brandon Staley is gonna like because we know he loves the leadership. He loves the former players. All that this guy needs is a dad who was a coach to me. This would be a great hire. I know a lot of you guys want someone who's more experienced. This guy's been coaching for 12 years though, still only 36 years old. To me, Thomas Brown and Zach Robinson, both part of the Rams coaching staff right now, are my two leading guys. Let me know how you feel about this guy. Is this your leading guy? Or are you looking at someone else like maybe Joe Brady, who I'm gonna be talking about tomorrow? But who I talked about yesterday was uh, Luke Steckel, who I do not want as offensive coordinator. And you will see why if you check that video out right there. Thanks for watching until the end of the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.